Hey guys, we're gonna get right into the basic tutorial for how to use Wolfpack Pro in this video. If you're new here, if you found this video by chance, consider checking out some of my other content. I make a little bit more advanced content than this. For now, this is the basic rundown for how to interpret all the symbols on the indicator. Feel free to check out my Discord. There's user testimonials here for people using Wolfpack Pro. People are saying a lot of good things. I also have an expert analysis section where I'm posting a lot of my current trades and I have a bot development section where I'm, I'm developing a Wolfpack Pro bot. It's giving a lot of validation to the signals because the, look at some of the signals that this bot is taking here. We're getting a lot of amazing trades longing from the very bottom, closing the short at the very bottom here. It's catching a lot of the big moves here, longing from the bottom, catching the peaks and I'm having a lot of success and fun developing that indicator and you can check it out on my Discord and I'm gonna be releasing it for public access soon. I'm also developing other indicators for the full Wolfpack Pro package. So if you head over to my website, wolfpackprofessional.com, there's a discount code in the description if you feel like checking it out. I'm adding more to the package. So if you pick it up, if you pick up a lifetime subscription, you're gonna be eligible for all the updates in the future. And as well, just one more thing, I do have a Patreon and there's a lot of funding perks as well. I have some hand-picked timeframes for the top crypto coins. They're sending all of the signals in one click, so it's just a convenience thing if you wanna check that out. Uh, I'll show you how that works on my Discord real quick. The, the pro signal section and the scalp signals in my signal customizer section here. If I select Bitcoin, I'm gonna get signals for the timeframes I select. You can customize this with one click. You can get get them and turn them off so that you don't have to mess with any trading view alerts. If you don't have a paid trading view account, this is really handy to have if you have some extra cash flowing around. Often you can pay off the signals per month with one pro profitable trade. So feel free to check these out. So if I select Ethereum, for example, I'll be getting all of the Ethereum trades. And then I can head over to the pro signal section and it's gonna tag me, it's gonna tag my Discord ID and all of the signals that I select for the time frames I selected. And it's gonna just tell me when there's a strong buy signal, when there's a trigger wave. This has been incredibly helpful for my personal trading. So feel free to check all of that out. The link is in the description for my Patreon and for my website. Now let's head back over to the trading view. Here is the complete uh, legend to the indicator. And the first thing that I'll, I'll say is key is understanding how all of the trigger wave signals work. So we have some, a trigger wave here, for example, we have a the, the diamond signal followed by a golden cross right here. And this is the very bottom. And you see we come up and we have another one right here. So these are great entry points for trades. And you can see we, we rock it off here. And the first sig signal right here is actually at the very, very top. And then following it up here, we have another signal. So we'll go through what these signals mean here. I know. I'll break it down. Uh, the orange signal is a medium strength sell signal. Then we have a green dot that's gonna be a weak buy, a weak buy signal. And then we have a big red circle. So the big red circle is a strong bearish continuation pattern. It's a very strong sell signal. The red cross, uh, we see one over here, just on the corner of your screen. That is a, another strong sell signal. Print on trigger waves. Uh, same with the red triangle. So here's the orange diamond. Uh, it's next to the small red circle because it's just it's a small sell, sell signal, medium sell signal, and then down here we have the stronger ones, including the, the bearish divergences. So I'll show you the, the bearish divergences here on the screen. You can see it behind the, there's an automatic drawing trend line here. And I'll just remove that just to show you. You can customize all of these signals. You can turn off or on any of these with one click. So here is the trend line should pop off of the screen here. There it is. So there's the divergence behind here. So we have bullish divergence right here at the very, very bottom. And then we have the bearish divergence here at the very, very top. 
So I'll turn back on the auto drawing trend lines. This is one of my favorite perks of the indicator. And you can see here it's really giving you um, a broad sense of the, it's squishing down the momentum here. We're rejecting off of this. We come up and then even though it looks like we've, if we continue and if we extend this line here, we come up for a little bit, we, but we see these sell signals right here. We see these very strong sell signals. So we're canceling that. And once we cross above it here, right as soon as that wave crosses up, boom, we got the trend line, bullish trend line break. So we're in bullish territory here. And here it is. So once we're above this, we're looking for buy signals. We have a little bit of a pullback. And then we have a lot of things happen. We have a the Bollinger Band switches to green. I'm going to show you what that means next. And we also have the the advanced MFI wave here really, really, really coming up here. And then it really, really starts to go up here. So I'll show you the Bollinger Bands right here. So when the bullet when the Bollinger Band is light green, it's an uptrend and it's a strong bullish momentum detected. Uh, when it's dark green or, or, or blue, that is a uptrend, but there's a temporary bearish pullback uh, detected. If we're red, that is a downtrend and strong bearish momentum detected. It's detecting the momentum of the waves. And then again, the last one is if it's orange, we we're in a downtrend, but there's a temporary bullish momentum detected often that is catching reversals, turnaround points, and the like. So next, so we have the main wave here. This is the momentum waves. And then we have the acceleration wave, or it's otherwise called the, the monster wave. And that's right here on the chart. So we have it really, really deep here. And then it, it's color coded to show you when it's really coming up. And right as it starts to come up, right when it changes the bar afterwards, once this confirms, right here, that is the, the bottom. So oftentimes you can really catch, uh, that is one of the most early reversal signals that the indicator offers, the acceleration. So it's catching how fast the price is moving. And that is, the, the again, the market works like a slingshot. So we're catching that acceleration before it pivots and catching our profit along the way. So next we have the the MFI, the advanced MFI wave here. So I'll just show you what it is here. Uh, we'll take off the monster wave just so we can see it. All right, there, there it is. So the, the monster wave, the acceleration wave is off. There's the advanced MFI wave. So here it's coming up, coming up, coming up. And we only really start to come down here once we're near the top. So the money flow is starting to come down. And real quick, I'll, I'll, in, I'll add back in the acceleration wave. And the next thing I'd like to get into is the uh, ATR bar. So we'll go from the top. There's four bars on the indicator. So the top, the second from the top, the second from the bottom, and the bottom. And then we have the flags that print along the bottom. So starting from the top, this is the RSI bar. Here, if we have, we have four potential colors that can print. And if there's no signal, then it's just, we're just referring to the last signal before it. So we have the green, which is a bullish continuation. Purple is gonna be bearish continuation. And then once we have the light green or the teal, that's going to be over oversold. So we're starting to reach the bottoms here. So as, if we're looking for confluence, again, here we have the, the monster wave, the acceleration wave starting to come up here. And we also have a bullish ATR signal. So right here, it's, it's good to start considering uh, price action, support and resistance here to try to size in towards the bottom. And right here, the, so the, the RSI printed right at the very bottom here. We came back here one more time, 
just for one more pullback and then we started going up and towards the top we see it start printing pink so pink is going to be overbought this is going to be a little bit of precaution if you're thinking about entering into a position a lot of times if you see this and you want to go long you'll avoid it and it'll actually prevent you from going into a FOMO position so you won't be the moron buying the top of the, of the pump so right here we have three signals and then it's boom the very very top and right after that I'll show you so that's the ATR or sorry that's the that's the RSI bar right here and then next we have the second bar this is the trend line break bar so it's a record of all the trend lines and all of the breaks that occurred so here right after we print this RSI you can look to the second bar and there it is there's the trend line break and you can see it here on the wave here is our trend line and it, it switches to dotted if we're off the wave and then boom we pass down and then momentum really starts coming down here so we know this is the area to consider taking profit right in this area and we already knew from this trend line break that it was coming down as well as we have the, the Bollinger Band switching downwards as well, which is really, really handy. So, next up, we have the, the ATR bar. This is the third bar from the bottom. And this is typically, it's a little bit later, it's a little bit uh, after the, the early signals, but it gives you the, it gives you the trend, right? Here, it's showing bearish from this point onwards and it just can it just continues bearish all the way down so this is really good for maintaining your bias and having really really solid broad overview of the direction and to pair with this also is of course the Bollinger Band which is showing you the direction the momentum of the trend so those are really really good to pair together next up is the bottom bar which is the volume flow and this is new for you for all of the the current Wolfpack Pro users this is again one of the earliest signals that you can find on the indicator if it's light green that means that volume flow is is extremely bullish um, if it's dark green it means it's moderately bullish so typically you'll see it go from red to dark green and that is typically the pivot point and over here if you're looking for extra confirmation you see that the main wave switches from dark purple to light purple here and then we the volume flow starts to come up as well so if it's if it's dark red like this we're still bullish we're still bullish but again we're we're starting to come down the, the flow is starting to slow down that's a good time to consider uh, your position and to start looking at other signals. So it's really, really handy having the RSI, the MFI, the volume flow. So you're getting all of that, as in including the acceleration. And with the trend line breaks, it's almost impossible to miss out on a good trade. If you know what you're looking for, if you're well practiced with the indicator, I recommend that everyone practices extremely hard using the indicator before you put real money in. Again, try to go back, use the bar replay mode, or even just block out the price. You can click the maximize pain icon here. It makes Wolfpack Pro take up the entire screen and you can just guess what's happening as time progresses. So you can just keep scrolling forward and place practice trades. Keep it in a log and mark down and take it ex take it extremely seriously once you start using real money you want to maintain confidence and and uh, have diamond fists right so the way to do that is confidence and the way to get that is practice there's no easy way to make money and this indicator isn't the easiest to use but it is a professional indicator it's my favorite one to use it's getting a lot of positive reviews so feel free to come through to the discord ask me any questions that you feel like I believe that is everything on the indicator again I'm adding more to the Wolfpack Pro package I'm gonna have an on candle uh, indicator as well 
So if you pick up the full package, you'll have it for a lifetime. You're going to get all of the updates as well. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, if I missed anything that you wanted to see, comment down below and I'll, I'll try to answer all of you guys' questions. Like the video too if you haven't already. It'll help boost it in the algorithm. Thanks for watching guys all the way to the end. Peace out and I'll see you in the next one.